Welcome to the southernmost tip of Australia, guys. I'm super excited about this one. We're gonna go explore down this coastline, this rocky coastline, for the next 24 hours on a solo, solo mission. See what we, see what we can find, see what we catch. Got, a, got an array of bloody nice meats in me bag. Gonna cook them up under the sand later on tonight. Hopefully we get some seafood to go along with it. If not, you're gonna bloody love it. And I bet you haven't seen half of these meats before, so I'll see you down there. Yahoo! <laughs> bet you think I look like a bloody walrus walking down the beach with this massive bag on it. I just got it. I've just, my old one was amazing. It was just too small to fit everything in. I had to carry bloody supermarket bags in my hands and in your rods. So now I've got them on the side, got me my knife right here. I've loaded it full full of goodies so that we can have a play down on this this cliff down here and see how we go. I've loaded it absolutely to the brim just as a trial run. I won't ever fill it up this much again. I've got, got everything in here. I've got me car in here. Anyway, we're gonna keep pushing on. This water's looking bloody tasty. And echidna, native Australian animal. Look at him. Beautiful. Such cool animals. Get rid of that spider web. Look at him. So they dig their nose into the ground and just put their backs right up and curl into a ball. So any foxes or dingoes that try and come and eat them, they'll just get a mouthful of spikes. They don't actually have too many predators. Unless they roll them onto their tummy, they can get to them. But just watch, there's no snakes in here. Anyway. Awesome. Ah, uh, let him go. Cool. Have a good one, mate. Just got to be mindful of all the snakes out of hibernation now, basking out on these nice rocks close to this long grass. I've seen quite a few in this area in the past, lowland, copperheads, tigers, browns, the whole lot. So hopefully we get some footage of one today. That'll be pretty cool. I'm just going to investigate these rock pools as we move our way along down around this corner, set up a bit of a base camp and we can branch out of there and I forgot the beers though, I was gonna bring a couple of cheeky brews. Oh well, we'll have to bring them on the next one. Just found these two bits of driftwood here. We might be able to use these as a, a spindle for a bow drill a bit later on. We'll see, that one's a bit cracked through here, but this one doesn't look too bad. Might be able to shave them down and start a fire. Here's a fresh water, or fresh running source of water. It's running out into the ocean here. We set up camp just around there, so if I run out of water later on, I can come back here, we'll filter it out, boil it up. We gotta get up here. Just gonna time this right. I don't wanna get soaked bloody feet like me last one. Probably gonna spend about the next hour here till that tide subsides so I can get through to this next uh, cove here. Might be able to pick up a few whiting off the front. It chops off nice and deep. Might even pick up a pinky. If we're lucky, you might get a snapper. Woo! <laughs> All right. So we've been fishing for about an hour now. I don't know if you can see, but there's just big clumps of weed all the way along here and they keep knocking me a big rod about and I've got to keep pulling it in, getting it off, casting it back out. So I was thinking about going over to this cove over here. It's a nice secluded beach and uh, we'll go set up camp and get ready for tonight. It's just me, myself and this nice deserted beach. There's no one around. How good is this? Yahoo! All right, we're going to keep pushing down and explore down here a little bit. Find a nice place to set up camp. Woo! Oh, these pig face, they're probably about a month or two off fruiting. But uh, yeah, looking forward to that. When we uh, come back out, we'll have a few juicy strawberry tasting fruit. Well, I think this is camp for the night anyway. Woo! Um, kept pushing on down here. It was pretty sick. It was just sand and cliffs though, and I want a few rocks for what I'm doing tonight. And I've got a, a bunch of rocks here, so I want to try and cook with those. So I'm going to stay here. The fishing. I don't know, we'll see. It's pretty rocky, pretty weedy, but I'm still happy to cook what we got here. And uh, I'm gonna go start a fire, so I'll see you guys in a minute. Tell you what, I'm bloody excited for dinner. I am, oh, I'm not starving. I, I definitely could eat, but um, I've been wanting to come here for quite a while now. And uh, 
she hasn't disappointed. It's a pretty nice part of the world. And uh, the food I'm going to cook tonight, I've been wanting to cook this for a while. Yeah, is this bit of wood, driftwood. Might be able to start it full on. I don't know if that's wet or not. It's pretty dry. That's wet, that's dry. Might be able to make a bow drill with that bit of wood I found earlier. I don't know, we'll give it a crack. Just gonna go find something a bit green to use as the bow. Um, it's showing sick. It's so green. Um, what are we gonna use? Need something a little bit hardy. Should do just nicely, I reckon. Beautiful. Probably should have done this on that rock again. That'll do. Some of this <coughs> um, dead grass should hopefully catch if we can get an ember. I'll chuck two. Woo! Ah, me foot. <laughs> oh. I'll um, get a bunch of this. I've just got to get some stuff that's not wet. It's been raining the last couple of days. Oh, these are nice. All these grass seeds. Put a bunch of those in there. Awesome. Now we just got to pray we can get an ember. All right, I've just had to come out of the wind. So hopefully, hopefully, hopefully uh, we can get this going. I don't know. Um, how soft this driftwood is. I wanted some softer wood, but she seems to be pretty hard just while I was setting this. But um, let's give it a crack. Ooh, I'm praying, please be good to me. Round two. Here we go. caught in there. Oh, you oh, Get out. What's the odds? I was so close. She was smoking. Oh. Oh, you piece of grass. Get out of here. Round four. Here we go. That last one, I almost had it. It was there, smoking heaps, but I'm running out of spindle because I've tried so many times. Woo! All right, I'm calling it. I've tried for the last two hours trying to get this bow drill going, but uh, I've run out of spindle. I'm pretty, I've been working it on the angle just because I don't know if you can see that there, but the sand's on a massive angle, so I've just been wearing down one side of the spindle. I thought I had it, it was smoking. 
Smoking after I stopped, I started celebrating, thought I had it, but she went out. But um, oh, you get that, can't win them all. Anyway, that sun's going, so I'm trying to, I've got to get dinner on before I lose all this light. So I'm going to get this fire going and uh, yeah, I'll show you what I got for dinner. I was gonna put some rocks under the ground and make it like a type of hungy, but I stuffed around for too long making that bow drill. Uh, so what I might do instead is heat these rocks up. Hopefully they haven't got too much water in them and explode, but I'll heat these rocks up and I might cook, cook on these. Just looking for the best rock to cook on. Um, what's that one like? It's pretty smooth, pretty flat. I might take that one, we might use that one, and I've already got one over there. I'll chuck these in the fire and get them warming up. They take a, a little while to warm up, so I'll chuck them in now. They should be good in about an hour, hopefully. Check out all these chopping boards laying on the ground. This one will do. Nice, bloody good chopping board right there. All right, we'll get up and start preparing bloody dinner. Oh no, what's happened here? Oh, <laughs> all right, one of those dinners is out of the question. I bought some black pudding and uh, I think she's leaked all through the bag. However, I bought some kangaroo as well and it's vacuum sealed, so I'm hoping it hasn't leaked all. Hmm. Damn, that sucks. I had some real nice black pudding in my bag, but it's just, it started leaking. It's gone all hot and I don't want to eat it. And it's leaked all over the um, kangaroo fillets now too. Uh, are you going to be all right? Should be. I must say, <laughs> not getting that fire has killed me motivation. But uh, I'm gonna start making this marinade for the chicken. I've got um, garlic, rosemary, and animal fat. I did have salt, but it was in with the black pudding that went off, so I'm not gonna use that. Otherwise, I won't make it back tomorrow without throwing up. And I wanna have a good sleep, so. This sand literally just gets in absolutely everything. My shoes, my socks, my jocks, my bloody... It's inside me, it's everywhere. This is a bloody good knife, I love it. If anyone doesn't like garlic, let me know in the comments because I don't know, I wanna, <laughs> I wanna know what's going on, why you don't like garlic. It's probably the best thing that's ever been created. And Rosemary, that's fresh rosemary from my garden. We've got heaps of growing at home, I love it. And for the main ingredient, hopefully this comes out all right. <laughs> oh, it's just full of sand. Get off, get in there. Oh, there's a fair bit in there anyway. Chuck this on here. And um, I've got an ejecting syringe, so once all this melts, I'll suck it up and then punch it into the kangaroo. So it fills up with that juicy, juicy goodness. All those flavors of the garlic and rosemary will go through the fat and then we'll inject that into the kangaroo. Spoon. Oh, come on. There we go.
This is <laughs> hard with one hand. It smells so good though. Oh man, this is gonna be good. Oh, that smells good already. Oh, that rosemary smells unreal. All right, a couple of juicy bits of kangaroo cooking on the stone. Oh, looks good. Man, there's absolutely just sand in everything. Oh, it's hot. Juice running out. Oh, check that out. Beautiful. Oh, wow. That's so good. It's sandy. <laughs> really sandy, but it's good. Mm. You can really taste that garlic and rosemary. I cooked it a little more than I probably should have on purpose just because it's been in my bag all day. That's good. I wish you guys could try this, it's amazing.